The average university student in North America spends between 35 and 55 hours a week directly involved in academics. This includes going to class, taking notes, reading textbooks, working on labs, essays, and projects, as well as preparing for exams. Depending on your program, you may be at the high end of this scale. Since there are only 15 hours of this in class, though, it looks like there's a lot of free time. Unfortunately, many students get fooled by that empty look and schedule. Let me show you visually what your time commitments really are. This is your week, including the weekend. First, let's give you a decent sleep each night, say eight hours, which is what is recommended. Let's take that out. Out comes the 15 hours of class. In some programs, there might be more hours of class, so you would put more in here. Now let's say your program is of average intensity and takes about 30 hours a week outside of class time. Still looks pretty empty, huh? Well, hold on, there's more to remove. How about eating? You gotta take some time out for that. Say you wanna stay healthy and exercise a bit, let's take some time out for that. How about your extracurricular life? Let's take some time out for that. Oh, and unless you're living at home, don't forget housework or roommate issues. What, you want a social life? Okay, okay, I'll give you three hours on Thursday nights. Now don't forget, you are never as efficient as you think you are, so you gotta take some time out for wasting time, procrastinating, and so forth. Finally, let's remove some time for the episodes of OC and reruns of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Not much time is left, but it can still be done. This schedule can still work. However, with this schedule, what can happen is it can tempt you into slacking off at the beginning part of the term. So let's just say that you took a three-week vacation in early September. Doing some simple math, you now have to assign at least four hours a week to catch up if that was evenly distributed throughout the term. If that's all related to a midterm, you now have to give yourself eight hours a week to catch up. Add in a part-time job of 15 hours a week, and now you're over the line. Can't get enough MSN, Donkey Kong, or want more of a social life? This is no longer looking possible. The average student in the average program has very little wiggle room to play with. This is why successful students are students that spread their workload out and manage their time. Keep in mind this demonstration is simply to get this point across. You may or may not find it helpful to actually go through these calculations yourself. What you will want is some set of time management systems or tools to help you avoid this situation.